Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is part five of my Bolo Buddies unexpected, 50 unexpected bolos that are coming from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So I invite all of you guys to share your bolos with me in the Facebook group. So what you do is if you have an eBay auction, it has to be an auction, it has to have bids, you have to have gotten it cheap and have like a good profit margin. And then you message me on Messenger on Facebook and you say, hey, I got a bolo. You give me the link. If you can tell me where you got it and what you paid for it, I do appreciate that. But if you want to keep that to yourself, that's fine also. But um, and then I share it in the Facebook group and it helps others learn. And now that I'm doing this video, it will be featured here. So definitely join my Bolo Buddies Facebook group if you're not in it. The link is down in the description of the video and share those bolos with me and I'll get them in the group. So it gets you exposure for your eBay store and exposure on your item. I have had people sell items that way. So um, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I'm Courtney. I share with you bolo items, items to be on the lookout for. I share items in many ways. I do category videos. I do featured seller videos. I'm doing this series. Um, I also have a new channel called Sourcing with Bolo Buddies where I share with you guys how I source. Thrift with me videos, unboxing videos, um, YouTube auctions when I source there, just all kinds of videos. Garage sales coming soon videos. Um, things I used to do them on this channel, but it was just getting to be too much over here. So I'm branching it out and doing those videos on that channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. So go check that out. There's also a link down in the description. All right, let's get started with 50 unexpected bolos. These are items to be on the lookout for. Some of these items are probably a little harder to find, but it's better to at least know what to look for, even if you never find it. Because if you don't know about it, you're definitely not gonna find it because you're gonna walk right past it. And there are so many items that I post in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group that I'm like, I would have walked right past that. So let's get started. All right, the first item is this Stife Bear. And they didn't even put Stife in the title. I thought that was really, really um, strange. But it does say um, Stife down here. Um, but not... Mercari and Poshmark do a great job of checking the description for words when you're searching, but I don't think eBay does. I think you actually have to filter in that you want to search the description also. So anyway, I don't know. It sold for $152.50. I'm not sure if that is good or bad for this bear or this bunny, but um, yeah, could it have gone for more if Stife would have been in the title. What do you guys think? Comment below. The next item I definitely would have parted out. I recently got a huge dollhouse haul, more items than this, and I parted a lot of the items out. Now I did list items, some items in bulk, but um, for the most part, I did small lots or even individual items. There's definitely money to be made on vintage dollhouse items. I'm guessing that maybe a reseller bought this. This sold for $215, 39 bids plus shipping. I also have a Bolo Buddies Bolo category video on dollhouse items. So definitely go to my YouTube channel and check that out. Then, okay, so this is the butcher cover. And you guys, honestly, I just saw this and I just... I saw how much it was going for and I shared it. I didn't even look at the graphics. It's awful. I can see why they took this cover away and said, no, <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. So anyway, if you find an original butcher cover, they are a major bolo. This one sold for $6,398 but I can most definitely see why this is no longer in production. I, it's awful. Anyway, the next item that sold are these vintage stickers. I also have a Bolo category video on vintage stickers. They can be a major Bolo. 
and they can also be bread and butter. So definitely go check out that video so you know what to look for. These sold for $152.50. They are from the 80s and the buyer paid shipping. And it looks like there's just one photo. That's very weird. All right, the next item that sold is this vintage 1965. It's a mini reel to reel tape recorder. How cool is that? And this sold for $253 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage uh, stereo cassette radio boom box. You guys, this sold for $700, 65 bids plus shipping. The next item are these 1992 Mattel Totally Hair Barbies. Would you have sold these as a lot or individually? Let me know in the comments. Um, considering like five of them are exactly the same, I don't know if I would have sold it this way. Um, but they sold for $211.10 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Pokemon Pikachu flash film camera sold for $152.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Also back on the Barbies, I'd like to tell you guys my reseller treasure and toy attic are two great um, toy channels that will talk about Barbies. So definitely check those out. Again, that's my reseller treasure and toy attic. The next item that sold is this John Deere. It's a brochure guys. Sold for $53 and the buyer paid shipping. How cool is that? The next item that sold is the weirdest troll I have ever seen. I can't say that I've ever seen one like this. It's a vintage dam design smiling turtle troll. Have you guys ever seen a troll like this? That turtle tail <laughs> looks a little funny. Um, it's a turtle tail. Okay. Um, yeah, there you have it. Sold for $128.50, 43 bids. And that uh, troll is Bolo Busted. <laughs> and if you guys watch Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you, you guys know what Bolo Busted means. All right, vintage 1930 Roseville Art Pottery. It's a sunflower vase, sold for $272.98, and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, so this one was uh, listed and sold by Mountain Man Treasures. Treasure, I always say treasures. It's Mountain Man Treasure, Troy. He has been like on a Barbie kick and this guy is finding Barbie after Barbie after Barbie that are selling for good money. Here's one that sold for $177.50. It's the totally hair Barbie. So Troy sells more than Barbie. So definitely go check out Mountain Man Treasure because he is a bolo finder and he was a part of the Thrift 15 challenge. So if you guys wanna see all of the Thrift 15 videos, you can go to the YouTube search bar and type in thrift 15, but you got to hashtag it and it'll pull up the 12 people that participated. And I sold a $95 plush that I found and it sold and I got fourth place. So there was some steep competition. So you can learn a lot from those videos. So definitely go check them out. This um, and the winner was the homeschooling picker. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, definitely check her out. She is a hoot, but she is also super knowledgeable and you will definitely learn from her. Okay, so this vintage full circle lilac ruffles, uh, it's like a pageant dress. And I do have a video on um, toddler dresses to be on the lookout for. And one thing you wanna do is lay it out in a circle like this photo. Um, if you find these, because that is one thing that will help sell your item for more money. This sold for $243.50 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage ERTL John Deere. Um, it's a log skitter like tractor. It sold for $225 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage postcard. It's of oak wood 
Sanitarium Lake Geneva in Wisconsin. This one single postcard sold for $90, you guys. So there is money that can be made on postcards. I don't know anything about it, but definitely be on the lookout. This one is unbelievable. It's an X rare unlisted vintage bitters bottle, crystal bitters, Louisville, Kentucky. I don't know that I would have picked this up. I probably would have walked right by it. I don't know about you guys. Let me know if you would have picked it up or if you would have walked right by it. Sold for $1,425. Buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Victoria's Secret second skin satin uh, bra and panty set. I The bra is not the second skin satin, I don't think. It sure doesn't look like it. I could be wrong, but the panty definitely is. So if you guys know something I don't know, that doesn't look like satin. But anyway, this sold for $132.50. This line from Victoria's Secret is highly sought after almost always a bolo. So if you can find the second skin satin collection, definitely, definitely um, pick it up. Uh, this looks to be new old stock because I can see a tag right there. The next item that sold is this Ethan Allen uh, mirror. So one item that is talked about in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group often is Ethan Allen. Uh, there's a guy in the group that specializes in Ethan Allen and everybody's like, should I buy this? How much is it worth? Blah, 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 blah. I mean, all the time, Ethan Allen. <clears throat> but uh, if you want to know more about Ethan Allen, definitely come check out the group because there are Ethan Allen posts all the time. Um, so I guess it's just a, a big money bolo. Like you can sell it and it sells well on eBay. You do have to like uh, ship it. It's usually furniture. So um, he kind of helps out with those tips also and shares with you his carrier and stuff. The next item is this antique wool short bill baseball cap. It's from uh, the early 1900s. It's a uniform hat and it's kind of a hot mess and it's still sold for $225.25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item was listed and sold by a member of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It's a vintage Briar Creations Siamese kitten, and it sold for $68 plus shipping. So the gal reached out to me and she shared this with me and I shared it in the Facebook group. And I went and I looked at her store and I'm like, girl, you are a Bolo finder. I'm like, can I feature your store? And she said, yes. So what I did is I featured her store and um, I think it's called oh, Top Drawer Boutique, um, but I recently did that video. It's a featured seller video. So you can go to my YouTube channel and I actually feature her bolos and I do pick people from the group from time to time. Um, typically people will message me saying they're interested or something like this happens or it's another YouTuber that's interested in being featured. So if you guys are interested in having your um, eBay store featured, feel free to reach out to me and I will try to fit it in when I do the featured seller videos. But definitely go check out that video. The next item I sold, not that I sold, sorry, I'm so used to doing my what solds. Um, the next item that was shared in my Facebook group by me that I just searched eBay and found for you guys is this Lip Smackers Glitter Kit and it sold for $295 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage um, 80s Mattel Masters of the Universe He-Man Scare Glow figure. Sold for $135.50 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Vogue baby doll, 18 inch from the 1960s. And I can't say that I would have looked at this and thought that it was a bolo. Uh, this sold for $121 plus shipping. If I saw this at a garage sale, I probably would have left it in the free pile. Like honestly, it's got a stain, it's hair is a mess. I never would have guessed. Would you guys have thought that this was a bolo? Let me know in the comments. Am I the only one that would have walked right by it? 
The next item are these 14 My Little Ponies. This picture is awful. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but that's not a great picture. And the person has enough feedback that you would think, like, this should have been the first picture. I mean, people are going to look at this and think they're getting five ponies. Well, you can kind of see a couple, maybe seven. But you know what I'm saying. This picture definitely would have been more um, telling of what's included. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe one of these is like the high dollar ones. So they wanted to zoom in and make you go into the listing to look for the other pictures. That could be. Do you think it was strategy? Or do you think the seller messed up and put a bad picture in the front? Let me know what you think in the comments. The next item is this 1930s vintage John Wright cast iron swordfish figural bottle opener. How cool is that? I, um, anyway, it sold for $167.51. Cool Boy Crush CD. And a member of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group sent me this one. They had it up for auction and it sold for $110.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage Zippo Missouri Midshipman Cruise Lighter. And it sold for $514 and the buyer paid shipping. Now I feel really bad about as $483.87. It is a rain. So this is a horse bit, I believe, that goes like in a horse's mouth. And it is really decorative and fancy. And it sold for $410 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this vintage G.I. Joe. He's one of the fuzzy haired guys. See there, he's got fuzzy hair. Um, yeah, there you have it. Is that like stuck to his chest? Oh my goodness, it is. That's so weird. Huh. Yeah, obviously I've never seen this guy. But he stands up and everything. That's pretty wild. Does he talk? Because that looks like a speaker. Yeah, Team Talking Commander. Sold for $285.50 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage girl's dress sugar cookies outfit. Sold for $78 plus shipping. Always look up the vintage dresses. Some of them can go for big money. The next item is this vintage 90s Betty Boop all over print wrap tee. I think think a member of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group sent me this one also. Not 100%, but if I remember correctly, they did. And it's got some stains, but still sold for $165 plus shipping. Don't quote me on that, but I think they did. If not, I just found it on eBay. This antique teal wall mount phone and I think somebody said that that could be like cigarette smoke. Um, like somebody smoked in the house and that's what that staining is. I don't know if that's, it says original old. So I don't know if that's legit or if that's just what somebody thinks happened. Anybody know? Would cigarette smoke do that? Because the cord looks like it's like minty. I don't know. I think it's just maybe where it was sitting in the box. I don't know. Maybe that part wasn't exposed. Sold for $112.50 buyer paid shipping. The next item is this all brass rare 1987 Eagle Claw fish and animal mouse trap. Huh. Uh, sold for $305 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item looks like a kid's shirt, but I think it is listed under men's clothing. So I think it's just how it's laid out, but it's a vintage Disney Pinocchio t-shirt sold for $191.50 plus shipping. The next item sold, it's a vintage half gallon ball mason jar and it's folk art hand painted. So I'm guessing it's probably one of a kind uh, sold for $138.50 plus shipping. Next item are these vintage Sandy Lion sticker lot. There's bears, rocking chair, bunny rabbit, animals, cowboy. Sold for $79.22 plus shipping. 
The next item is this vintage lot of 350 refrigerator magnets. And most of them are like states and stuff like that. How would you guys have sold these as a lot or would you have um, sold them individually? Seller got $184.50 plus shipping out of that. The next item is this AG Rogers vintage Buddy L moving truck, pressed steel, sold for $866.99. That is amazing. Amazing. Buddy L. So if you see a Buddy L, definitely look it up. The next item is this vintage Dior Samo A, A de Cologne Christian Dior perfume. $444 for that one. And it says that it is new. And that's what it looks like. Hope I find some of that. The next item is this amazing vintage brunette flip twist and turn Barbie doll. And her makeup is fantastic. A lot of times the makeup will peel. I do think the seller should have put more photos, but either way she sold for $295 plus shipping. The next item is so cute. It's a rare original 1940s vintage Buddy Lee doll. Look at that little corduroy, not corduroy, overalls, the little overalls. Are they not cute? And it says sanfor, sanfronized, sanfronized, union made. So the little corduroys are vintage. How cute is that? Sold for $635, 37 bids plus shipping. The next item is this 1890s rare vintage label under glass flask. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. So label is under the glass. How cool is that? Sold for $305 plus shipping. The next item is this rare vintage Pyrex opal and blue clouds and stars. And this sold for $5,927 plus shipping. Now, this person had zero feedback when they listed it. So let's go in and look at their feedback. Why isn't it letting me? Okay. Why won't it show me their feedback? There we go. Rare Vintage Pyrex, it sold an amazing piece and a truly great experience with this seller. So everybody's afraid to order from zero feedback sellers. Here was a good example of a success. They became a member on January 26th of 21 and I bet that they decided to put this on eBay and it was their first sale. So that's pretty cool. The next item is this vintage lace trims and they sold for $172.50 plus shipping. The next item was shared with me from a member of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Um, I forget why she said this was going for so much. I think it has something to do with the author, Fran Lee Bowitz. I don't know if she's like something with the TV show. Um, I cannot remember what she told me. Not sure. But anyway, she sold this for $200.50 plus shipping. It's a paperback book, you guys. So I wish I could remember why. I'm sorry. Maybe do a Google search. I'm sure it'll tell you, um, tell you why. But it's something to do with the author. The next item that sold is this gorgeous vintage blonde walking Jamie doll mint. And her makeup looks great. She's got the eyelashes that look real. And she sold for $368, 57 bids plus shipping. And she is in excellent condition. Look how good her hair looks. The next item that sold are these vintage lot of seven various wood and cork fishing bobbers and floats. These sold for $115 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage 1920s moonlight Polly Wog Lure Series 700 Wooden Bait. Sold for $355 plus shipping. Definitely bait fishing lures can definitely be a bolo. But for me, I just don't understand them enough. So I usually pass. But my husband has found some amazing fishing lures. The next item is this huge lot of $145. Pokemon toys. Some of them are rare and these sold for 
$1,000. I do think that a white background definitely would have been beneficial for this listing just as far as seeing the items better, but it looks like they did okay. I think I've sold that little guy in the front. See the little purple guy in the front? I have sold him individually by himself before. I think it was like a bath toy. So you can definitely sell these individually as bread and butter also. All right, you guys, there are your 50 unexpected bolos. Again, these were pulled from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Please go check it out if you're not a member. The link is down in the description. And sorry for the sleepy eyes. I feel like I'm trying to like hold my eyes open. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you at the next video. Also, check out my new channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies and reseller testing products. Thanks for watching.